I hear the trash truck. I do. Good morning. Happy Flamingo Friday. It's a beautiful day. Brett and Scarlett don't seem to care. There goes the trash truck. Usually the most exciting activity of the week. Today, eh, don't care. Good morning, happy Flamingo Friday. Hey Scarlett, what are you doing over there? Sleep, they do. They do sleep standing up on one foot, balancing. Not yet, no. Cindy says no walkabout or sign dancing. No, we're just super chill this morning. schedule notes while we're just hanging out here staring at flamingos oh and josephine look it's a josephine sighting hi mama hi josephine's on a walkabout wow yummy you're gonna turn pink eating all that flamingo food so um scheduling things tomorrow we'll be doing our walk in the afternoon instead of in the morning we have a private event at 5 p.m and i will be here for that so we'll do afternoon twilight um see what it looks like after closing tomorrow instead of early morning and i told a couple of you we have a wedding tomorrow but i was a week ahead in time we have a wedding next weekend, not tomorrow. And then the following week after that, we have a wedding both Friday and Saturday. So tomorrow morning, no walk. Tomorrow afternoon, afternoon stroll.
Yeah, and they're super relaxed. They're just being, living their best life. And Casper and Shadow are hanging out down there. And look, that is Josephine. Hi, the ladies. You're the one that I lied to about the wedding. It's not tomorrow, it's next week. And happy birthday to you guys. It was a really fun night. We had back-to-back -back birthday flamingos this week, Wednesday and Thursday. Is that her baby behind her? No, that's her boyfriend. One of them. Josephine travels with twice, quite an entourage. But he's the chosen one for today. She is retired from having babies. Oh, pretty stretched. Let's see, oh, good yoga flamingo. Pretty, pretty. Yes, the under feathers of the flamingos are black. Just being, just being flamingos today. Not interested in being a drummer on the new plastic sign band. Nope, just being a flamingo. Yay, thank you, Beth. Beth says, love my awesome box. And sorry for the false alarm, Betty. Betty almost got her awesome box yesterday. How do we tell them apart? Jennifer says, how do you tell them apart? So typically it would be very difficult, but we were fortunate in that Scarlet is petite. So 
Uh, Rhett is six inches taller than her, so that makes it easy for us. But if you just come upon a group of flamingos, it's not easy to tell the difference between the girls and the boys. Lisa, what is an awesome box? It's our bi-monthly subscription service. We just shipped the May boxes. The next available is July. And we do a bi-monthly subscription service of flamingo, butterfly, and nature-themed merchandise for $35 which includes shipping domestically. They would let us touch them if we tried, but we don't touch them. They touch us if they choose to. Look at Miss Josephine in here. She's being super stealth. Super stealth, Josephine. I want Betty. Well, that'll be fun. Fancy pants, a box of goodies. Awesome box next time. Yay, happy birthday, Debbie. Yesterday. It's two Deborah, Debbie birthdays with us yesterday. What are you doing in the pond? Uh, yeah. Hi, what are you doing over there? You should, the question is, do you receive a notice when the awesome box ships? You should, but that comes directly from the United States Postal Service. So sometimes it goes to spam. Sometimes we type in the address wrong. Who knows? Oh, see that on the bottom? There's a butterfly landed on my phone. Hi guys, where are you going? Do they have babies? No, Rhett and Scarlett have never had an egg. Last night, Rhett had so much fun with this water bowl. Scarlett tipped it over and he did a whole act with it, moving it around. Not drumming, but moving it around, making noise.
Are we all going maskless? Um, here in the conservatory, we are not, no. When you have a wedding, where does the family and friends stand or sit? I see the gazebo for the bride and groom, but just wonder where the rest of the wedding party is. So it's the reverse. The wedding party hangs out in here in the gazebo and overlooks the bride and groom that stand over there, just above those butterfly cutouts, right there, bride and groom and officiant, so that all of your friends and family back home can attend there on the webcam. That's the best view and the best hearing. So wedding party stands here. You can sit if you want, but you can't hear as good if you're sitting. And then bride and groom stand over there. And Rhett and Scarlett stay in the pond and talk as much as possible usually. Where are you going? Back to the pond. Yeah, shadow is looking pretty huge. The Pacostomus is shadow. A Casper is over there. He's underneath the ledge right there. He was out earlier. Friday. Hi. Bye. Thank you, Kathy. See you tomorrow afternoon. Have a good day.
We did hire, Beth said, did you hire new staff yesterday? Yes, we hired one, two, two yesterday, but still looking for a small army more. Anyone looking for a job? We're hiring. They are so quiet. Red and Scarlet haven't been quiet at any point recently. Today's just a nice, quiet day. Feeling super chill, rested, relaxed. I'll get the sign just in case that's what all these walkabouts are about. You want this sign? Here's your sign. No, we don't have hummingbirds in the conservatory. We do in Key West in general, but not here in the building because we're in a confined space and hummingbirds are very territorial. Nancy says, when things are quiet here in Southern California, it's earthquake weather. I was wondering about that here. We don't have earthquakes that we feel here, but their, their radar says we do have big rain coming in. The dubs are extra noisy and Red and Scarlet are extra quiet. So maybe they are preparing for this supposed big rain. Have you observed any mating activity with Red and Scarlet? No attempts, but nothing really um, gonna get the job done now. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra's our interpreter. Thank you for all those languages. I don't know how you do it. I can't even copy and paste to Google Translate as fast as your brain can do it. Cheryl says, you have the dream job. How did you get into this type of work? Um, I showed up here and I kept showing up. Did you ask Danielle? There's a bird bath bowl in the um, Harry Potter room, but that's the only thing I know about. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what he bought. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Someone's here to pick up their purchases, but we don't know what they purchased. I think I think it's for Bethels. They do have little bitty feathers all down their neck. Yes, and oh, there goes one flying. 
They're these small. Look at that tiny, tiny. Looks like a little bit of a spider. Yeah. It's a tiny little neck feather. An underneath neck feather. Hi, hey buddy. Wendy's trying to do her job and we're in the way. Why don't we move our sign? Let's move our sign to where Wendy's already watered. Come on. How do we feed the butterflies? We have blooming plants all around everywhere, like here. Good visual. Butterfly having breakfast. Yummy, yummy. Another butterfly having breakfast. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, the feathers on their neck don't look like feathers. And they don't feel like feathers, they feel like velour. But I think they're gonna start molting soon. There's a lots of little downy feathers falling out, being pulled out by their little beaks. Does someone stay at the sanctuary full time? Not at night. Well, all the creatures, all the people, all the creatures who live here stay here full time. But the humans go home in the nighttime hours. Happy Flamingo Friday, Amy. Do the flamingos eat bugs? No, they only eat, these two only eat flamingo complete. Out in the wild, they eat shrimp and other small things they get in the what out of the waves as they filter feed.